Welcome to Issues in Japan. The topic this time is K. Kamuro's attendance at Mako's grandfather's family funeral causes a stir. What has happened to relations with relatives? Princess Akishino's father, Tatsuhiko Kawashima, a professor emeritus at Gakushuin University, passed away on November 4th at the age of 81. On November 6th, a family funeral was held at his home. Attended by Prince Akishino, Princess Kiko, Princess Kako, and Prince Hisahito. Also in attendance were Mr. Kawashima's granddaughter, Mako Kamuro, and Mako's husband, K. Kamuro. On November 4th, the day Mr. Kawashima passed away, Mako visited the hospital alone to say goodbye. Many people on the internet were surprised by the fact that K. Kamuro attended Mr. Kawashima's family funeral this time. If it is a family funeral, wouldn't it be more meaningful if it were held without K. Kamuro? I thought they said they wouldn't socialize with their relatives. Shouldn't only Mako be attending? Doesn't the fact that they didn't hold the new eye ceremony mean that they won't be socializing with their relatives? According to an imperial family journalist, at first, it was said that only Mako would attend the funeral and K would not. However, it is very common for couples to attend a family funeral together. And it would seem unnatural if K were not to attend. Also, it is said that Mako is prepared to become a community of destiny with K through this marriage. Considering this, it is possible that Mako's feelings her may have led her to attend the wedding with Kay. Mako did not participate in any of the ceremonies related to her marriage, such as the Nusai ceremony, which means ceremony of acceptance, and she also declined the lump sum payment associated with her withdrawal from the imperial family. It is said that this unusual marriage is similar to eloping. According to an imperial family journalist, after their marriage, Mr. and Mrs. Kamuro were expected to keep a certain distance from the imperial family. In that sense, there was a possibility that the Kamuros would not attend any of the weddings or funerals related to the Akishino family. As you can see from the reactions on the internet, many people actually thought so. This time, the event was not related to the imperial family, and for Mako, it was the funeral of Mako's grandfather. So, it was natural for her to attend. But it will be interesting to see how Prince Akishino decides on the future. Even though the marriage is akin to eloping, there is a view that the Akishino family will continue to support Mako. In other words, it is unlikely that the relationship between Mako and the Akishino family will change all at once. Of course, when Mako and Kei Kamuro move to the U.S., there will be a physical distance between them, so the interaction between Mako and the Akishino family will probably decrease. On the other hand, it is highly likely that Kei and the Akishino family will maintain a certain distance from each other. It is difficult for the royal family and the Kamuro family to be related to each other since the financial troubles and other allegations regarding their mother, K.O., have not yet been resolved. It is likely that the Akishino family will respect the wishes of Mako, but will keep their distance from the Kamuro family. That is all for now. Thank you for watching.